Hello and welcome to Expat American. Today we're going to do an experiment. Behind me is the metro and I'm going to get on this metro. This is the end of the line and I'm going to ride it straight into the center of Moscow and out the other side to the other end of Moscow. Because you clicked on this video and you're thinking, is Russia really like it looks like in these videos? Is Moscow really what it looks like in these videos? And we're going to try and be fair and answer that question and just go from one metro line all the way to the other end of that same metro line and see what we see. So first up, here is my first spin around. This is the edge of Moscow, the northeastern edge of Moscow. That is one entrance to the metro. That is an elevator for people who need it. And there is another entrance to the metro. So far, in my opinion, this first stop looks like a normal stop. Just a normal city, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hurry and come out of each metro station and do one circle around. I have not scouted this ahead of time, so I'm not really sure what even I will see. There's a sign telling me where to go into the metro. These are standard, very heavy doors, I think, for the weather. There it says the name of the station. That is typical when you get down to the platform and wait for your train. They have the name of the station on both sides of the platform. Just waiting for my train here, like everybody else. It takes about two minutes for it to show up. And again, I don't have my passport, so hopefully the Russian police aren't looking at me on cameras and wondering, what is this guy doing getting off every stop? And here it comes now. You can see behind me here, they have a nice little light up board that moves along as you go from stop to stop. So if you get confused, you can always look and see where the red light is is where you're going to be. If it's red, it's already been there. If it's flashing red, that's where it's going. If it's not red, it hasn't gotten there. Here we go at our second station in the Moscow Metro, their underground subway. So this one looks um, like 70s modern to me. I'm not sure when it was built. Obviously the ones further out are newer and not as fancy. I think they put less money into them as time goes by. What's cool about the Moscow Metro is it's almost 100 years old. And so every station is kind of built with the style of the time it's been in. So you're kind of like traveling through time as you go through the Moscow Metro. So what I meant about these doors is, I think because it's cold and windy, they got to make sure the door is shut. So they're actually quite heavy, so they couldn't accidentally be left open. But I do think in some cases they have little spikes to prop them open if they need to. Here's the exit. Okay, so I just came up from there, and here's another quick circle around. Again, it looks like a standard, normal-looking city to me. This will be 22 stops today. Hopefully I can get it done before the sun goes down so we get a clear picture of everything. And uh, 22 stops sounds like a lot to me, but don't worry, it won't get boring. I'll just make the cuts quicker as we go along if need be. When you come down, they have signs that show you which side to get on. So we're at the end, so almost all the stops are on this side. And there's only one on that side, because you've only come one stop. It helps you not to get turned around. So this stop looks kind of nice. I think it's kind of cool. Um, I don't know what style this is, but I like it. It's artistic. So this time we have a deeper escalator. As we get further into the city, I think the metro goes further underground to make way for everything. All right, what do we see? More apartment buildings, just like before. People working on the city like always. 
metro stop and trees and I see a church over there. So this stop still looks like a normal city to me but less buildings, a little more forest. So it actually looks more out of the city than the other two. This is my Troika. This is good for a year. I paid uh, you know a good amount of money for this for a year but it's a better deal than buying one ticket a day or per ride or even just for the month. And with this, I can just ride as much as I want for a full year. By the way, according to my research, there are 265 metro stops in the city of Moscow. We will just be doing the 22 off the dark blue line today. And here it comes. So this one is actually going over a river, so right now we are not underground, which of course happens in some metros. And you can also see again here the digital display, it is flashing where we're headed. And it's in Russian, but with English letters, you have above that how you would pronounce it. So here's what this station looks like. Alrighty, so it says Vegas in English because there is a popular mall chain in Moscow at least. And they make the malls look like different famous cities around the world. Just like you have hotels in Vegas that look like different famous cities from around the world. And not much to see here except for it looks like what we saw before, apartment buildings and the mall. I'm actually, um, it's cold outside because I'm running so fast to get this done. I'm getting hot so I gotta take my stuff off here. Um, but um, I, I predicted if I don't hurry, this might take me seven hours with time in the metro, time coming up, time coming down, time looking out. This has like a spiderish type ceiling, this station. And no escalator, so we're not that deep underground. So this has like a greenhouse cover over the exit. And what do we got out here? That's me going through the door the wrong way, sorry. So, more apartment buildings, buses, cars. I'm guessing that is metro ventilation, which is actually the answer to one of my other questions in a previous video. When I saw things sticking out of the ground, I didn't know what they were. Look at this cool style bench in the metro. When was this built, I wonder? That sign says, don't lean against the doors. And here's this metro. Not much to see here in my opinion. Actually, I spoke too soon. Look at that cool little angel statue. So it looks like a flying woman or maybe an angel. And then it looks like a dancing lady there. And a little escalator here, so maybe we're, we're a little bit deeper underground. And a lot of times when you come out, you come out into another tunnel, which gets you to the exit, and they'll have little shops inside the tunnel that people shop at, which keeps you, you know, away from the cold in the winter. All right, so here we go. This one has a farmer's market with a tent. So it's outdoor, which is unusual for Russia, but with a tent and apartment buildings and looks like some construction on the metro and more apartment buildings. So, are you scared or bored or excited with Moscow yet? This station is actually under construction. So it doesn't look like anything but a bathroom. Alrighty, it's raining a little bit. We've got a tiny shopping area. Bigger apartment buildings, I think. And more apartment buildings. And the metro entrance. I've actually been here before. 
and more apartment buildings. So this is looking a little bit tighter, a little bit more like a bigger city as we get closer to the center. We are outside again on the tracks between stations. So this is our first outside metro station and it's got a cool little bridge going over the lines. Got security there. They randomly check you, it keeps things safer. So, here we have another, looks like normal city to me. Not as congested, apartment buildings, metro station. That's the line down there. And oh, let's look at the map. Okay, so here is the metro map. This is all of Moscow, of course. The center is in the center. We are on the dark blue line. We started here, goes down, so it's running north to south on the edge of Moscow, and then it turns, and we're about to turn, and it goes straight through the center, and then it goes up a little bit and goes just a little bit more north. So it runs like a snake through the city, but it's gonna give us a random check of what Moscow looks like. It's the dark blue line. As you can see, they give every line a different color. And if you're thinking, well, Joe, you're showing us east to west Moscow and the north, but what about the south? You didn't show us the south. I have already shown you the south. That is in the video, Is Moscow Scary? Handrails for safety. So I've actually been here before. This is one of my favorite looking stations. As I said, it looked like Dr. Seuss or a fairy tale. Actually, one of my subscribers said it is a French design. Again, we have another greenhouse type cover on this station here. Going the wrong way through the door, sorry. So we got a mall here, right off the bat, big looking mall. Nice looking building there behind the mall. Looks like we are in a park, which is pretty cool. Probably looks better in summer, more apartment buildings. There's the metro entrance, more apartment buildings, more of the park, which is under construction, and back to the mall. We've got metal detectors and bag checks. Okay, so this is Park Pavetti. Kind of cool, kind of different. Not a big fan of orange, but I understand it's probably because of the time it was built in. And this is where Moscow has their memorial to World War II. Great park. I've been here before in another video. Um, but a little story. Look, my hand. Is that because I'm saying Moscow is dirty? No. Uh, although it might be a little bit dirty like any city. I'm jumping on the metro car and I turn around, the doors are closing, and it closes on a guy, a foreigner. He's not, meaning he clearly was not um, a Slavic Moscowite. And he's closing on his arm in his bag. And myself and a bunch of other Russians just immediately grab the doors and we have to pull and pull and yank it open so this guy gets unstuck. And then I'm looking at my hand and thinking, I'm gonna tell you guys this story. And then someone on the Metro gives me a wipe to clean my hand. So I had to not clean my hands so I could tell you that story. But uh, just a little anecdote, but it's kind of cool to see people coming together, helping people out in a country that a lot of us don't know very much about. This is a long escalator. So as we get deeper into the city, we are definitely deeper underground. We have toilets here. You can you pay for them, but they are there in case you need it. And this is the massive underground area for, I guess, crowds. So look at the art on the walls here. Like I said, this station is a memorial to World War II. And it's actually easy to get lost in this station uh, just by the way it's designed. So I gotta be careful when I'm getting back on the train. This uh, film shoe is gonna be long enough as it is. I don't wanna go the wrong way. They've got Russian movie posters on the tunnel here and live music. Okay, so 
like I said, I've been here before. You've seen that arch if you've seen my other videos. And we got buildings, I assume office buildings, park space, and buildings in the distance, road signs, buses, cars. That is uh, construction, and that's Park Pavetti over there. It's Victory Park, more buildings, and the arch again. I'm doing this on Saturday, but it's still pretty darn crowded. So um, that last stop was the end of our north-south run, and now we've since turned, and we're heading east to west through the city. Check out this station here. A different art. The wall is pretty cool. Actually, I've shown this in the Moscow Underground video. So you can see we're definitely in an older part of the city, an older part of the metro now. But it looks good. Okay, so definitely looks more like a city. Giant buildings, live music, clock tower, big metro building. Okay, I like the hall in this metro. Looks like something Greek or Roman. I like these catwalks they have over the metro line. So we are now 11 stops down and 11 to go. So again, another older style metro. Small, but deep underground and classy. Metro rules are you stand on the right and walk on the left. Is it like that in your subway system? Wow, check this out. It's like a cool dome. Oh, and there's a hammer and sickle. Find the hidden hammer and sickles. So I'm stepping out into a courtyard with an arch. You might recognize that from the end of our Russians shop where video. This is the end of our Botskaya street over there. So you can't really see anything because we're getting deeper into the city. It's just a courtyard surrounded by buildings. Yeah, so that's our Botskaya back there. So we're definitely deep into the city now. And how does it look? Does it look clean or dirty compared to your city? You got some construction there. But it's funny, no matter where I go in the city, Russians are always speaking to me in English. I don't know how they know. There's something about me that's a dead giveaway. I cannot get this dirt off my hands. I'll have to ask my wife for help. So here is the Arbat Street metro station. The one we were just in was one end of the shopping street. This is the other end of the shopping street, so you actually only have to walk it one way because you've got a metro stop on both ends. Even though I'm almost two meters, the police hardly ever stop me. So that's 6'5", and I look like a foreigner, and everyone knows I'm a foreigner. I actually have a Jedi mind trick for never getting stopped by the police, but in case there's any bad guys listening, I will not say what that is. Because I want bad guys to get caught by the police. So I'm coming out of this metro here. It is getting dark. It is still raining a little bit. Got a nice little park area, tall buildings, cars, more buildings, old buildings. These are deeper into the city. Back to the metro entrance. Even though we're closer to the end now than we are to the beginning, this next stop is actually considered the very center of Moscow. They've got handrails everywhere and maps inside the train. So this is the center station, Revolution Square, and if you haven't seen it in my other video, you definitely should. There 
there is the restaurant within the red walls off of Red Square where Aurora and I ate. And there's some more restaurants. This is right off of Red Square. These are famous old buildings. This is that outdoor eatery. This is a little carnival ride. And Red Square is right over there. So you may notice in the background some of these wide shots, there are police everywhere. So if you're a bad guy, stay away. We don't want you. Um, and actually one of uh, my subscribers uh, told me in a comment that Moscow had, well, Mo Russia has doubled the police of America with only half the population. So this station here is the last stop of what is considered the center core of the city. I like the rain, it's actually good timing. It messes up my hair, but it makes the city look nice and shiny. So, got murals, city lights, old buildings, beautiful metro entrance, and more buildings. All right, so we got seven stops left. I did not pre-screen this trip. I'm doing 360 degree turns at every stop. It's a big city. I thought I would for surely see some scary places, some scary people, some dirty things. And I personally have not seen that at all. I'm quite impressed, actually. So this stop is Baumitska. And there's Lenin. And actually, I just realized that is where my college age son, one of my college age sons, goes to university. Who is that guy? Alrighty. So, pharmacy, buildings, murals, food, little courtyard with trees, more buildings, and back to the metro. It's still raining a bit, and this metro actually requires you to walk back around to the other side. Looks like a lot of university students around me. I'm out of place here. But what do you think, actually? How does this look? Is it what you thought? So it's interesting. It looks like it is more crowded on this Saturday at night than it was all during the day when we started. I found another hammer and sickle at this station. So this is not my taste, but it's cool. It looks different than anything we've seen. buildings and lights and people there's the metro we just came out of more shops shops I'll step out into the courtyard here just to be fair no cheating seeing everything I actually bought a shirt Mike um, when I hit a thousand subscribers for the interviews I should have brought it today because it's kind of noisy, but the problem is if I forget to turn it on that I get no sound at all. And to check the sound, I have to unplug the whole thing for each take. So it's a bit of a hassle, but next time I'll bring it just to be safe. Here is this metro station. It's interesting, we're getting near the end, but on this side, everything looks like it's older still, in a good way. Okay, so I've got buildings and cars and people and some restaurants you might recognize, but I don't want to draw attention to them and get them canceled. And this 
is our 360 for this spot. There's actually a cool shopping mall behind me. My hair is hopeless today, I apologize. Um, there's the metro entrance. So the escalators here are deep, but not that deep. And I've noticed that these stations over here, the entrance and exit are not the same. So that's why I keep having to walk around now. They've got digital displays there, giving you a heads up as to what's going on in English and in Russian. Actually, I have been out here before because who could forget this statue? Okay, so here's our 360 for this place. It's a big hotel, bus stop, shops, little mall, trees, darkness because it's nighttime, and back to the metro. So we are now above ground on the metro line traveling to our next station. It will be our third to the last stop. Okay, so it's an outside stop. Not much to see here. I'll try to go out. Looks like we're in the woods. More rain up the stairs. Looks like I might be in the middle of nowhere, finally. Or not. Buildings. Buildings, night sky, cars, little freestanding shop, some trees that are hibernating, starting to hibernate. Metro sign, back to the metro, and there's the stairs where it came up. All right, this is kind of cool. Two more stops left, I believe. The marathon is almost over. Okay, so stepping out of the metro now. Little shops, road, magazine shop, buildings, lights, cars, buildings, hibernating soon, bushes, and back to the metro stop. Actually, gotta be quick with these gates because they will slam shut on you. Okay, and that dark line there says just one stop on this side and all those stops on that side. We're going there to finish. And here we go, flashing right there. That'll be the end of the line, literally. So this last stop here actually goes from south to north just for a little bit uh, because we turned and finished our east, uh, west to east run. So everyone gets off here and this is the end of the line. station. So the city is still going. Just doesn't have metro service after this. More shops, more cars, more lights, and night sky. So what do you think of this experiment? Do you have a better idea of what Moscow really looks like? Leave a comment, click like, subscribe, ring the bell notification, and uh, have a nice night. Look, they have garbage cans in Russia too. And handicapped access. Also, I forgot, you gotta 
click the next video right there, right? Right there. Click it. Now.